Hey everyone, I'm Ben from JLab Audio, and today I'm gonna to take you through some step-by-step -step guides and how-tos for our TalkGo USB microphone. If you guys are looking for one of our other Talk Series microphones, the Talk or the Talk Pro, head down to the description. We'll have a link for those down there for you. The TalkGo comes with everything you need to just plug and play into any USB device. No software, no apps needed. TalkGo is super easy to set up. It's gonna come with a 5 8 attachment and tripod stand. So all you do is screw in the attachment and that's gonna screw into the back side of the Takro microphone. And you can tighten that up, pull out the tripod leg. And then from there, just move this lever around to adjust it. The only other thing left is the cable. Comes in this box right here, along with the quick start guide that comes with it. We'll take you through some of the steps that we're talking about today, the directional patterns, uh, the buttons on the bottom. And then, and then the cable. The top go cable is a USB-C to USB-A. Plug into the bottom here. And then all you have to do is plug into your computer. And we're powered up. So we're gonna walk through uh, the buttons and what they mean, what the directional patterns mean, and how to get you set up on your computer. When you first turn on the TalkGo, it's gonna be in cardioid mode. So what that means is it's going to take uh, sound from only one direction. Uh, so that's gonna be the side with the JLab logo. So when you're using the cardioid direction, you want to be speaking into the mic in this direction, right? Not here, not on the back side. Best to be speaking towards the JLab logo. Cardioid is great for things like voiceover, where you just want the mic to pick up your voice. The other directional pattern that you can use with the Talk Go is omnidirectional. That's great for things uh, in a group setting where you want to hear everybody, things like a conference call that you're all gonna be around the phone. So that's picking up sound in every direction, omnidirectional. So to change from cardioid to omnidirectional, all you do is hold down the button on the bottom and it will change to green. And that's how you know you're in the omni setting. And to go back, to cardioid, again, just hold down the button, it'll go to blue, and you go back and forth. The talk go also comes with a quick mute button. So if you're gaming or you're on a call and you quickly want to uh, cut off the mic, all you do is quickly tap that button. Uh, it will turn red, and that's how you know that the mic is off. To unmute, just quickly tap again, and you're back in the direction that you were in before. The talk go also comes with a headphone jack so you can monitor yourself when you're speaking. All you do is plug into the headphone jack on the bottom. And you can hear yourself. You control that volume on the mic as well right here. So you control the monitor volume that comes through right here on the mic. The Talk Go works with Mac, Windows, even Linux. Uh, we're gonna take you through some software and applications where you'd use a mic and show you how to make sure your audio is coming from the Talk Go. The Taco doesn't need any applications, any plugins, any software to get up and running on your computer. Sometimes all you're gonna have to do is go into preferences and change the audio mapping so that it uses your mic instead of the computer's. When you're on a Mac, you go into System Preferences, Sound, and you will see the internal mic and the JLab TalkGo microphone. All you have to do is select the TalkGo and your computer is now using the microphone's audio. If you have a PC, if you're running Windows, from the start menu, go to settings in the control panel and then go to system and then select sound. And then you're gonna change the output and the input device to the JLab Talk Go. If you're using a recording software, you have to do the same thing in settings. So I use Adobe Audition all the time for my recordings. Uh, so all I have to do is again, Adobe Audition, Preferences, Audio Hardware. You'll see it's already selected, but so if it says built-in microphone as the default input, all you have to do is change that to Talk Go. And same thing with the output, Talk Go. That makes sure that the 
uh, monitoring is coming through the mic when you have it plugged into your headphones. So that's it, that's all we have to do. And then I can start a recording. And now I'm recording using my Taco microphone. And if you wanna change the directional pattern of the mic while you're using it, again, you just hold down the button. Now it's omnidirectional instead of cardioid. I can go back, back in cardioid. And again, if you wanna quick mute, just push the button quick. And now there is no output coming from the microphone. And we can turn it back on. And we're back to recording. If you're using GarageBand, just go into applications, open up GarageBand, and you'll see I've opened it up and immediately it says, do you want to use the audio device JLab Taco microphone? And I will hit use. If you don't have that pop up, again, just go into preferences, GarageBand preferences. Go over to audio MIDI, devices, output device. I want to pick the JLab Taco microphone. Same thing for my input, JLab Taco microphone. Now I'm both using the mic to record, and if I plug in my headphones, it's ready to monitor. And that's all there is to the Taco USB microphone. Super easy to use, really convenient to take with you. If you guys have any other questions, leave them down in the comments. We'll get them answered for you. If you're having any other issues, reach out to customer support. We'll get everything taken care of. And as always, tag us at JLab Audio and show us how you go.